Hey guys and gals, Otto here. So, uh, we've got some unboxing to do. Um, I did pull them out of the packaging just because of the whole corona thing, you know. You gotta pull them out, wipe everything down, get everything ready, and it's kind of the same old rinse repeat. So I pulled everything out, set it up. And we're gonna start with, uh, these are three of Verpal's, um, extensions. So we're just going to measure those real quick. This is the uh, 50 millimeter extension. Verpal flight sticks. So it is 88 grams. This is the... I'll try to get them in close so you guys can see them. Uh, they're very sturdy. Uh, these things are made like very well. Um, so this is the um, 75 millimeter. 142 grams and then this is the 100 millimeter and it weighs 200 and 205 grams all right so we just started with those um yeah in a previous video i did do an unboxing um of the verbal stuff i will try to get part of that in this video uh we'll see what happens yeah i probably will get part of that in here um you can see the stick here on the left this one here it's already got the 50 millimeter extension on it and we got that because uh Kyrie and i felt like we may want the extensions. The CM2s are very stiff compared to the uh, the other bases that Verpal sells. Um, I forget what they're called, but there's another base, and it is a lot more giving. Um, these are quite stiff, and so you're going to want an extension to kind of give yourself some leverage. Um, you can stack these, so you know. Here I have the 50 and the 75. I can just screw them together. See? And then I can take this other 100 and put it on there. Alright. So, I mean, you can get quite a length out of them if that's what you want. And again, these things are made super good. Um... No complaints on the quality of their extensions whatsoever. Uh, they're fantastic. Um, but I'm not going to go into all the verbal stuff uh, right now because that's not what this one's about. Um, we will get back to that. Um, so we do have a couple sticks back there and we do have a verbal mount. Um, it's not the current one. I think they're currently selling version 3, the long one. Or large, long, whatever they call it on their website. That is the version 2 long. So, just for those that wanted to know. Um, and over here, we actually have this one here. This is from Monster Tech. Because um, I wanted to see how Verbal's mount compared to Monster Tech's was firsthand. Um, I did get some impression of it from Nubifier, but I wanted to see it firsthand. And so this is what we're looking at here. Um, I did get two two mounting pieces that actually connect to the flight sticks. And we'll get into this some more later. Um, so we will be going over these mounts more later. We will be going over the sticks later. I did get two mounts uh, for the sticks. Um, one is black and that one, I got that one for me. And the other one is silver because this... This mount is silver for Kyrie. Um, we got her the neck that connects right here on the flight sticks. On the bases. is Hers is silver. Mine's black. But we'll go over those later. So uh, we do have a set of Constellation Alpha sitting there. Um, I'm really excited to get in and use them. This one is number 627. This one is number 688. Uh, the SN numbers as far as 
Um, I guess their number probably in line that they were made it, or that they were made. Um, so you know Verpal's pumping them out and fulfilling um, pre-orders like crazy. It did take me. I did just get these in like uh, a few days ago, and here it is, the beginning um, of August 2020 when I originally set out to try to set in to get these it was back in november of 2019 so the better part of 10 months from when i started to when i finally got them and it i did get all my parts across three different orders and but that's all later um right now we have a a i7 10700k um We did not go with AMD. We were going to. Uh, we waited, actually. We waited because we were going to go with the AMD, uh, the X ones, the X, what were they, X or XT processors. Uh, they were the revision of the third gen where they gave them like 100 extra megahertz. And uh, we decided to not go that route because after seeing them perform, it was like, oh, they pretty much performed the same way as the other ones did. And we weren't going to wait months longer again for the next gen to come out for them. Um, and they may finally beat Intel at that point. We don't know yet. But, um, and I'm not talking about uh, workloads. I'm talking about FPS. Uh, so we'd already waited a few months and we weren't going to wait any longer because we recently sold our other AMD system. We had a 2700X um and we sold that off and we have been waiting because we wanted to see if those those new processors are going to be you know finally beat intel in the fps area so that M amd would finally beat intel across every area you know price multitasking and fps and they didn't and so we were like okay so i tried to get a set of 10 900 k's uh two of them and i got them from a place in europe and they they took my money and then they refunded it like a day or two later and said, we're not covered by law. And then they gave my money back and canceled the order. And so finding the 10900K in the States has been a nightmare. Um, I, would, I almost had one last week. And in the middle of checking out, it was taken out of my car by somebody else. So that did not go over well. Uh, that is definitely a flaw in the shopping cart system. We've seen it with Verpal, which they have now fixed. And now I've seen it at Newegg. I was on Newegg. I've I've been shopping Newegg for like a decade. I've never seen a product taken out of my cart. Um, so needless to say, I'm not shopping at Newegg anymore. Um, at least not at this time because that was... I was pretty ticked about that. Um, it's taken months to try to get a hold of that. I finally have it. I'm checking out and it got taken out of my cart. I was like, oh my gosh. So <laughs> we did the next best thing. Um, we got a 10700K, which is pretty much a 9900K in the LGA 1200. And that's good enough for us now. Um, we just wanted to get something to get us up to speed, get the other rig up and rolling. Um, and I'm not going to debox this because you guys can see it right there. Um, or not. Let's see here. Well, chip's there. It's too hard to read. The light's blaring off of it. But you've seen it there on the box. So we got that. Uh, we're going to put that over there. And this... This is what we got for the system. Uh, this is the main drive, the OS drive. It is a Samsung 970 Evo M.2, one terabyte. Um, so we're going to run that for our OS. Um, these things are very fast. I'm running them in the other system, a 9900K, clocked to 5.1 as the primary, and it is fantastic. And I would just keep doing it over and over again until um, you know we decide to jump to something else. But we actually use these for our OS and our scratch drives. We end up using a different brand, like a Corsair or something. Um, another, it's actually a one to two terabyte. I forget what it is. Um, they're not quite as fast as these Samsungs, but they're still M.2s. They're still extremely fast and they're priced better than these. Um, so that's what we use for our scratch drives. Um, so that is the OS drive right there. Um, we decided to go with... It's the same memory in our 9900K. Um, this is the Corsair Vengeance RGB Pro. Uh, we like them. Um, we think the RGB in them is not tacky. 
some RGB is just so bright in your face, it's it's ridiculous. But uh, these are uh, classy, clean, classy, and I've never had a problem with Corsair memory in a very, very long time. Um, they're, the timings are not the tightest you can get. There's better out there. You know, you can get into the um, the G skills and stuff like that, and even some others that have tighter, better timings. Um, but I wasn't too worried about that. This is a 4x8 kit, 32 gigs, 3600 speed. So that's what we went with, the memory. Um, and again, I'm, I'm not going to take them out. I mean, it's it's an M.2 drive, and it's a, you know, RGB sticks of memory. Um, uh, maybe I will real quick. <laughs> okay, what do we got here? There it is, a little stick of gum. I mean, it's not... It's it's pretty big. It's pretty big. Because if you look, this is like a, a regular stick of gum. But it's not like the size of a Trident stick of gum. See? They haven't gotten them that small yet. But they're getting there. So there it is. It's very small for those that are not familiar with them. Um, we've been using them for a while. It just slides into the board and you put your screw down right here. Um, very easy to use. Very quick. Um... Okay, so that's what we went with there. And wouldn't it be something if it was that big? If it was as big as that Trident piece of gum, that'd be crazy, right? Give it time, they'll get it there, maybe. Okay. Okay, now the memory here. 